What is up everybody, this is your host Subside, and welcome back to another video. Now in this video we're going to be building a computer, a theoretical computer, on user benchmark that has a budget of 1300 US dollars. Now note, this budget does not include the motherboard, the case, the monitor, or the power supply. So you have to factor in that and add however many extra hundred dollars you need accordingly. So anyway, also, I'm no expert at this, I do this for fun, so take what I say with a grain of salt, and without further ado, let's go. Okay, and so I'll be doing two different designs. I'll be doing one that's GPU exclusive, and one that includes a GPU. Okay, now I'd recommend if you're gonna, because if you're gonna spend over one thousand two hundred dollars, I'd recommend you get a GPU. Like if you're gonna spend that much on a computer, might as well go with a GPU design, in my opinion. Okay, there we go. So let's start off with the classic one, in which we start with the good old one, which is the three thousand nine hundred X, a great, great CPU right there. Then, uh, oh GPU, oh okay, no RAM. I know which RAM we're gonna get. Also, okay, there we go, RAM. And then we go to value, like this, boom, and this one here, a solid Wii option right there. It's the 3200, it's 2 times 16, it's just absolutely beautiful. There we go, and we can just copy that over right now, because I know that's the one we'll be using for that. Okay, so that's the RAM and the CPU sorted. SSD, what do we end up doing for the SSD? Do we, I don't think, I'm not sure, anyway. We'll go down here, and we'll find this one right here, boom, which is an epic option for the SSD, super duper fast, super duper fast, okay, there we go, boom, 7th, that's really high, HDD, okay, oh, the HDD, oh, dude, let's, let's have a GPU look, let's have a gander at GPUs, I was looking, I was actually changed which GPU I was going to buy today, there we go, so, basically, all the criteria I had for what I was going to buy, I wanted an average benchmark of 80, now, if you just increase the average benchmark to 80, and look, there's 600 options right now, 600, so it's like, oh, how are we going to decide on that? So, if we put it at 80, right, goes from 600, boom, 639 down to 34, so over 600, 605 are under 80, which is incredible, because that, that alone is like a massive, massive, see, cheeky wee decrease in that, and now we've got all show prices, now if we just, de so we're down to 34, now if we, some of them don't have prices in that, so if we just decrease it by a dollar, it gets rid of the ones that don't have prices, or however many, because none of that, that much anyway, boom, there we go, now we're down to 19, I mean, it's so quick to, to do that, now I personally don't want to be paying over 1,000 US dollars, I mean, 1,000 Oh, yeah, because this is US dollars, isn't it? Isn't it? It is. There we go. So, okay, well, in that case, uh, I'll say I don't want to be paying over 700 US dollars. So, if we, because in I, it's New Zealand dollars, I want like that right there. Bam. 12 GPUs. Look how quick we've narrowed it down. So, we just, all we want is one that A is pretty good. So, that's over 80. And B, what, now, this is not the one we're actually going to use for this design, most probably, because this will be too expensive in that. Or, no, actually, no, it will be one of these ones. Okay, there we go. And we don't want to be paying over 700 US dollars in that. There we go. In fact, that one there is that. We don't... That one there is, is still too pricey in that. Okay, there we go. So, we'll just drop it a little bit below that right there to, let's say, that. Boom. Okay, there we go. 11 options. Look how quick we've got rid of them in that. Now, another filter I sometimes use, well, I've been using... Which, I don't know if it's a fair filter. My, it's the d dilemma. The I idea is, I put the filter as that it has to be within the last two years. In which case, it gets rid of, for example, that one right there. Gets rid of that one right there. And that one right there. Now, I don't know if that's a fair filter or not. My reasoning behind the two reasons... Like, the way I want to do it is, A... Because the newer ones are more efficient in that, and different things in that. And B, you know, you're more likely that you'd be sold a second-hand one, or that. But even so, that's very unlikely to happen in that, you know. I don't know, I just think that it's, like, more efficient and newer than that. But, you know, and it's like, well, you'd want the newer, latest part that will maybe be supported for longer or whatnot. But, you know, at the same time, if there's parts from, like, 2017, you know, that are really good parts. Um, the main one I'm thinking of is this one here, which is really, really good, ultra, ultra popular in that. You know, it's just a solid option in that. Same with this one here. Huge amount of samples right there. You know, boom. And they're both, you know, not that, you know, that one right there and, and those two right there. That, you know, I think this one was 2017 it came out. We come over here. It was, you know. And I don't know. It's just like, do I want that one or not? Because, I mean, that one there is re honestly really, really good value. You know, if we go to the value thing, bam, it's third. It's third best value. And, for example, if you decided I want if you, if you decided you wanted NVIDIA one instead of AMD, and so, for example, you went brand new, you went NVIDIA, 
bam, it's the top value NVIDIA one that's, that's you know, a reasonable quality and not too expensive in that. You know, it's, it's better than that one, you know, and it's, you know, it's better value than that one there. Oh, well, yeah, it's better value than all of them, but that one's not that much better than that. You know, it's just an absolute unit of an option. The only thing is the fact that it, it's, it's quite a few months old, but apart from that, it's actually really, really solid. So these here are the 11 that you're left with in that. And so personally, when I decided, I was literally just doing this a few minutes ago and, and chose the one I was going to buy. So I dropped it down to, down to like, for example, 24 and that, like so, which then got rid of those ones and left me with seven options. So I was looking, I was deciding which one of these seven was I going to get. So actually I found out that Amazon allows you to cancel orders in that because it hadn't shipped in that, you know, and I'd ordered it on the 30th of May. And I cancelled it yesterday. So, but yeah, and so then I'm going to get another one. So originally, I'd have put an order in for this one right here and that. And I was so shocked that you're able to cancel it. Because it's like, is that, it doesn't seem fair that you can just cancel an order. It's like, you've said you'll buy it and you can pay for it and that. But I am going to buy another one that's more expensive than that. Although, is it from the same company? MSI. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. There we go. Although, but I think they said that it was from Amazon Exports or whatnot. So, yeah, there we go. So, this one here was the one I was going to get in that. But I ended up going with this one here. So, this one here. Because this one here was about... I think it was like 369 US dollars I could get it for. And then... Because uh, I was looking at the NVIDIA ones. Boom. Which then leaves me with these ones here. This one here you could get for... If average was right, Like about 369 US dollars. And then this one here they didn't... I couldn't find it for sale. This one here, I think, was like, it was like 400 and, 400 and something US dollars. Maybe 439 US dollars, this one right here. And then this one was about 509 US dollars. Yeah, this was 509. There's one left, and I got the last one. I got the last one in that. But yeah, I thought, like, because originally, I, I was going to get that one, but then for some reason, I ended up ordering that one. But it's like, wait, what? Because this one here is like an extra, I don't know, like 80 US dollars or whatnot, and it was... I consider it significantly better in that. I was like, let's just get that one there. At the same time, because I wanted to get NVIDIA, because they have the ray tracing, even though I'm probably not even going to use that. But it's... What was the other reason? There was one other reason. Oh, they have... Generally, the rendering is better. Generally. For example, if we go like this versus this... There we go, I think. There we go for... Uh, yeah, the multi-rendering, they have way faster. The the AMD is, is often better for the lighting and gravity, but for the multi-rendering, which I take it is the one that I'll be using it with, like, out in the stream. But yeah, in 2020... If I was going to get a graphics card, I would get one of... Oh, uh, no. I would I would, I would, would consider those ones there. Bam. I'd get one of these 11. One of these 11 would be the graphics card, regardless of what computer model I got. Like, I wouldn't want a graphics card that's worse than that, and I wouldn't want... I mean, the one that's worse than that... I've got one that's worse than that, and it works fine. But if I was buying in 2020, I would buy one of these 11 graphics cards, hands down. And I don't want to be spending over 700 US dollars on a graphics card. So I wouldn't want one that's over $700, so it sort of cuts out the few above, like, there's not actually that many that are above, like, if you go like that, boom, is like, yeah, there's not even that many above it, but boom, there we go, like, 34 above it and that, but there we go, I, yeah, so, it, 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 but yeah, I'd want a one that's reasonable quality, which is what the average benchmark filters out, and gets rid of the other 600, which is most of them that aren't of that quality, and then I just don't want it over that certain price, and so that, I'd be left with one of these 11 options and that, so, so so boom there we go if we come down here we ended up going with this one last time and that which is a valid option and that that one's actually slightly better there we go let's there we go boom if we go like average benchmark so uh which is the best way to sort it there we go like that one there 300 boom that one's even better uh well, it depends how much so, yeah, okay, there we go, so 40 people have those, okay, let's go with a, let's find an HDD first, and then we'll come back to that, there we go, okay, there we go, so, should we go with, there we go, if we go to value, boom, there we go, $88, that, oh, wait, this is Skyhawk, this, mm, oh, yeah, this is the one we used to use, oh, what, yeah, it's the Skyhawk, wait a second, is the Skyhawk being better all this time, hmm, and it's cheaper, boom, maybe it wasn't for sale with it, yeah, because that's better. That's better. And it's the same amount of storage in that. 
Oh, wait, no, 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 this one is, this one is. Okay, there we go. No, never mind. Okay, there we go. Boom. But that has a higher average benchmark. Interesting. But, yeah, anyway, okay, there we go. Let's say we go with this, because uh, $90 doesn't take up much of the budget in that. HDD, boom, and we'll go like this here. Okay, kachow, boom. And then, so if we have a budget of 1300 and so that's like 450 is it? 50, no, yeah, four, 450 US dollars to spend on, on, on a graphics card. That's a solid amount to spend on a graphics card. $450. Oh, that's 450 It's within that range. Okay, there we go. If we go price, right? 450 Ah, only three of them we can't even afford. That's crazy. So we can afford almost all of them. Almost all of them. And those two are uh, those two are over that age anyway. So I don't really... There goes. So drop it to $500. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a good graphics card. Well, we can't afford those two anyway in that. So then if we go average benchmark, bam. There we go. 450 Oh, these two. These two are good. Good. Uh, exactly the same points. That one's 40 Oh, man. This this is the real, real question in that. That one, we, we could drop back on one of the other things in that. Hmm. Oh my goodness, this is cool. We get like an ultra good graphics card. There we go. So, if we get rid of, because, assuming, not assuming gaming, effect is about new, negligible. These two, it's just, I don't know. See, that one's faster for that. These are faster for those two. That's faster for that. These are faster for those two and that. Mmm. I'd personally go, although it is $40 more, and it's older. Ooh, that is just tough. That is tough. That is, like, just, it's just too tough. There we go. Although, for these things, it's better. Oh, my goodness. That is just so close. There we go. That is just so close in that. Boom. I think, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to go with AMD. I think I'm going to have to go with AMD. It's newer. It's cheaper. And for these things here, it is indeed faster in that, you know. Multi-rendering, that's, I mean, that's massively faster. That's, yeah, I don't know. It's very close. It's very close. But, yeah, uh, either one of those options, either one of those options would be abs any any of these any 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 of these any of those eleven GPUs would be wonderful. As of twenty twenty, I personally would say that these. Uh, well, okay, fine. Seven hundred. There we go. Fine. You can come on the list. That other one. Boom. There we go. There we go. That. Oh, we got another one on the list as well. Two of them. There we go. Oh wait, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Personally, in twenty twenty, if someone said what GPU should I buy, I would recommend one of these thirteen. Depending on their budget and that. I, yeah, because, I mean, these two, I would still say, uh, you know, like, these two are still justifiable. I mean, they're still, they're, they're expensive, but, they're, you know, they're still within value, re like, within reason in terms of value and that. But, if yeah, 100%, hands down, almost regardless, no matter what computer I was getting, I would get one of these 13. Just because uh, they're, they're, they're good average benchmark. And, you know, they're not way too expensive. I mean, these two are getting really up there. Like, I personally, even for my one, which is an absolute unit of a computer, I I haven't gone for either of these two. Like, well, that one wasn't even available. But, I yeah, it's just, because it's over one grand New Zealand dollars and that. But these two, they're just, I just wouldn't do it. I just, they're just too expensive as of now. I just think it's just so much money, especially since I'm not even going to be gaming on it. It's going to be for 24-7 streams and that. But I still want a good one. But any of these options are, are totally good. Like, you know, they range up to about 700 US dollars, all the way down to 300 US dollars. And that one there is a really good one. That one's a good one right there. For, for like that one there. See, yeah, that's better than those two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, better than that one, definitely. That one's older. Smaller market share. More expensive and slightly worse. You know, although there'll be some things that it's probably better at, I would think. Surely. There we go. Nope. Oh, no, that one there, that one there, yeah, gravity, it's faster. Okay, there we go, one thing, one thing. Okay, there we go, but yeah, ever, yeah, they 100%, hands down, I'd get one of these 13 GPUs, because above that, it starts to get really, really expensive, and the value is just terrible. But, and below this benchmark, like, I just chose 80 in that, because I thought that gave a, a good sample in that, you know, well, it's like, and it gives you a few options, but not heaps of options in that, you know, and 80 is a solid benchmark. So, hands down, these, in my opinion, are the best 13 GPUs in 2020, as of June, these ones here, because I mean, the 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 affordable, you know, for you know, for most people in that, you know, they're not too expensive, and neither are they bad quality at all. They're all really good quality, and they're all not too expensive in my view. Like I mean, as in three hundred three hundred dollars in that, which I just think like two ninety two ninety. Although lots of them, lots of them, you have to. There's certain ones that like aren't available in that. Like well, like let's say this one here, boom. 
and if you go to buy, like so, there we go, like there's different options, I, I'm only buying the ones off Amazon and that, you know, and, because often eBay is second hand, but not always, but, no, actually, I don't know, I don't know, but anyway, I got this one here, I got the last one, there we go, now this one's sold out, but all the Amazon ones, I don't think any of the Amazon ones, all the Amazon ones here, are either don't ship to New Zealand, or have sold out, and sometimes they have used ones in that, but not for the case of that one there, but this is the one I got, so, yeah, 500, 500 US dollars, absolutely incredible, see, I didn't want to, I didn't want to pay, the, I didn't want to pay an extra 200 US dollars for one of these two, but yeah, this one here, really, really good buy in my view, and now, I originally would have been happy, I was going to go with this one here, which is, yeah, which, but I think that was actually more than 300, that was like 369 US dollars in that, but both are very good options, but I decided to make the upgrade to this one right here, okay, there we go, like that, boom, which was 30% faster for 200 extra US dollars. Wait, no, no, it was less than 200 US dollars, because that was 369. Oh, oh, no, was it? No, oh, was it? I'm just trying to think. Was it US dollars? It was... I'm not sure. Maybe it was about 200... It was either 200 New Zealand dollars or 200 US dollars more, but... Yeah, okay, there we go. Boom. So, because, I mean, so 450. We could go with that one, or we could cut back on the SSD and then get the $500 one. So... Either, either go for one of those two, or, there we go, because these two here, I can't even decide between them, they're so, so close, there we go, this one here, how much better is it, for $50 extra, hmm, yeah, we'll get a worse, uh, I honestly don't know, any of those three, all of those three good options, all of those three, there we go, let's just give AMD, for this one. For this one, we'll let AMD have it. Okay, there we go. Because any three, I'd literally be like... Yeah, I'll personally go through that one and that, but... And then we have to count back on the... On the SSD, in, in this case, with this budget. Okay, there we go, like that there. But for this, we can still upgrade the HDD then. So we have 50 more dollars in that. So you spend 130 on an HDD. Okay, there we go. Boom. But any of those three would have been great options. HDD... Average benchmark, bam. So if you like a video more, I'd go with one of the other two. Okay, and, oh no, not that. Value, bam. And we want above four. Go up to six. Okay, there we go. Capacity, 500 and something. That will do. Kachow, boom. 130, not going to happen. Not going to happen, is it? It's not going to happen. There's not none that are 130 or less, I don't think. Bam. 400, definitely not. 155, yeah, that's not even... Hmm, 100, nah, not, uh, okay, so then if we have another $50, and we spent 410 on that, there we go, because that's very similar to the one we got last time, isn't it, yeah, there we go, well, that there, that there, that there, okay, there we go, for the GPU inclusive one, okay, and the all UFO now, the all UFO status in that, but again, any three of those GPUs, any three of them, that one, that one, or that one, would all be, I'd say, about equally valid, in my opinion, there you go. I mean, this one here, you do say, assuming that it is that, half the time, because half of these prices aren't exactly right. Often you have to pay a bit more, because on, they don't, that's the lowest price out of all of them. But if, for example, we go like this, and we go to seller, boom, some of these are on PH Photo, or, or eBay, or Atlas PC. Now, if you're in the US, that should be fine, you know, but if you're in New Zealand and that, it's sometimes maybe more difficult than that. And even half the ones on Amazon, literally over half of them don't ship to New Zealand. They're either, most of them are either currently unavailable, which means I don't think anyone can get them, or they don't ship to New Zealand, which wouldn't be a problem if the, in the US. Or some of them, they only have a used version of it, which I definitely don't want to get a used one when you're paying this much, hundreds of dollars. Okay, there we go. So that there is that model right there. Okay, let's move on to the next one. I don't even like making this one anymore, because uh, you just hands down get this. Like, that one is like, yeah, you just hands down get that one. You wouldn't even get this one that I'm making. It just, it wouldn't make any sense in my view. At the earlier levels, yes. At the earlier levels, yes, like, you know, a thousand US dollars or or lower, yes, that was still a completely valid good option, but now, at this point, if you're going to spend this much, it just, computers just, in my opinion, it's just, there's so much better with graphics cards and that, if you're going to spend over, like, over, sort of, 1,000, over 1,200 approximately US dollars, 
1,000, yeah, over 1,000, it's just approximately 1,000. When you're starting to spend over 1,000 US dollars, in my view, you might as well have a computer that has a graphics card. Because otherwise, well, the thing is, because generally people that spend over $1,000 on a computer are generally, not always, generally gamers. Not, yeah, unless, you know, you end up just buying like a $2,000 New Zealand dollar, which might be like 1,300, which is just a junk computer, like an all-in-one in that. But if you're going to get, if you actually buy the most efficient, effective parts, you get that I would say that non like it's mainly gamers that need that that spend over a thousand dollars on computer if you're choosing the good parts but otherwise yeah because yeah people spend two thousand New Zealand dollars on a bad computer anyway which is over the amount but if you were choosing the, your own parts you don't really need to spend over a thousand dollars on a computer and that because as in once you've got this this here the top the like this here effectively the top CPU there we go, that has a price with it. Those other 10, 10 ones are starting to come out now, but they don't have a price. You know, the, the one, like the, this one here, but it doesn't have a price with it yet. You know, but, and there's only one sample. When did that come on? There we go. That's Wait, does it show when they sampled it? One person. Imagine me, the one person. Would, would they have done something to it? Because it'd be cool if your one sample made it show up on user benchmark. But there we go. I take it that, oh, this is that one there. Hmm... Where is it? Oh, this was three days ago. Oh, so it's interesting. I wonder if it was like Intel or something that did the test. Oh, they used that one right there, which is a solid one. There we go. Oh, there we go. Inter but they used, not, they could have had better of that. That's interesting. Because you think if you're going to have that, which is absolutely insane, you'd go with th other things in that. So it was only three days ago that one's appeared. But yeah, uh, there we go. If you, there we go, CPU. And we go like with this one here and that, boom, like this one here, which is really good in that. But yeah, I just think that post, because we let's assuming this is the best CPU that you can really buy, you know, for you know, a, a, you know, for average, like the for the benchmark wise, not for like the 64 points or whatnot, which I, I'll be using in that. But this here, I'd say, is probably like an all-round best CPU that you can get in that. And so the and the and you don't need if you got that, you generally don't need more than 32 gigabytes of RAM for most people in that. And since you're not getting the GPU post a thousand dollars, all you're upgrading is more and more and more money into the SSD and HDD. That's the only places the money can go really. Because I mean you could upgrade the RAM even more, but I just don't see the point. And the CPU is effectively the best you can possibly get, you know, at, well, not necessarily, but yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, we can upgrade it more in that, but it's, it's very, very good, you know, I, I mean, I guess, if we go, uh, oh, no, CPU and that, and then we go to 64, there we go, and we go like this, there we go, bam, and this one here, where does this rank, there we go, where does it rank, the 9... That one there, so 1,400. So if we go to ones that have a price, okay, there we go. So show all prices, bam. Oh, that does have them, almost all of them. There we go. And then we go like that, boom. And then we go to the 64. Does it have a 64? Surely it has a 64. There we go. To at least 1,400. So that it's, it's better than that one there, bam. Oh, there's actually quite a few, because, so that one there is that one there, 1,400 and, oh, no, because, well, that's that one, so we'll say, let's say 1,470, I don't think it's going to let us do that, there we go, oh, no, okay, there we go, boom, so these are the options right here, there we go, like that, hmm, and, man, these are, some of these are old CPUs in that. There we go. I mean, yeah, that one itself is 19 months old. Because these things here do increase. Although lots of them... Yeah, I mean, we could upgrade to those ones there. Hmm. There we go. Because, yeah. Well, they all have lower... So if we, for example, go like this. There we go. And compare it... That there with... Oh, I forgot to get rid of me. There we go. Okay, we'll get rid of me now. Boom. And it'll come back here like that. So that one with let's say in terms so that's nine that versus something that's like lower there we go like this eighty three. Oh uh, yeah, okay there we go. So eighty three. Oh no we'll go there we go, the highest one. There we go, eighty seven. Oh no, these ones are oh no, that's been up for a while. Okay, like that. 
boom, or there's only as 100 samples in that. Yeah, for these things here, it's faster. So, and I probably, would that be noticeable? I don't know if it would be in that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah. Oh, so this has the better 64 speed, but apart from that, it's just like, <laughs> it's like double the price, and that's and no benefit for any of the. This one here, this one's better for all that. It's just, it's just for that there, it's better, which is still good. But yeah, it's it's. No, I'm not convinced. I wouldn't spend five hundred extra dollars for that. Okay, versus. Okay, what about hmm? What's another one? Eighty three. There we go, like that. Three K samples. That's like reasonable amount. Yeah, if we do samples, let's say, and then we get rid of ones that, like, almost no one uses. Does it have samples as a filter? I don't think it does, so we'll have to put it here. Samples. There we go. Let's say we have to have a thousand samples as, like, there we go, as, as a requirement. That, like that, boom. Then suddenly, you even have even less. There we go. Well, because including that would be only 15 options in that. There we go. So, and, yeah. We could, because these ones are generally are lower than that. And this one here, this one here is a valid CPU, but again, that one. So, yeah, but okay, and let's say it has to be Intel. Boom, because then, we, and, and it has to be a K model, because the KF doesn't work in that. And then that's there, so there's only eight options that are better. Oh, wait, can you, oh, you can't really, you can't really do that. Okay, there we go. Oh, that didn't work. 1,400. Boom, like that, boom. Okay, because those two aren't options anyway, so that one versus... All of these have very few options. Very few options. I mean, very few samples in that. Like, this here's like 100k samples, and all of these are like barely above 1k. If you put it has to be at least 3k, none of those would exist, and that would effectively be the fastest. But let's say this one here, okay? But are these ridiculously expensive? Like, ridiculously. Like, I, and that I personally then would say, I'd just stick with the one I went with. There's just, I would not spend I would not be upgrade. I would not be paying over one thousand dollars for the average Joe blogs to get like two hundred more points. Oh no, that's no this one here. Oh yeah, that there. So not quite double in that for that thing there. But if everything else is, it's worse. There we go. There's absolutely no way. There's like three times as expensive, and these are fast for everything except for these two here. With that, for the average Joe blogs is not going to be using that there. Like. Yeah, yeah, the average, yeah, so, and so let, oh yeah, let's, yeah, I just don't think, so if we drop it to, let's say, under $900 for the price, there we go, like this, $900, there we go, like that, boom, boom, there we go, and that's still that one there, now these two shouldn't even be there, because it's, if it's over one, it has to be better than this, and so, yeah, I just don't see... It. They're just all ridiculously expensive in that. They're just ridiculously expensive. You go like... Oh, uh, there we go, like that. It's just, yeah, I just don't see the justification for it. There we go, that one, and so not that one, because that needs the graphics card and that. And these two just very, very minimal samples in that. Yeah, I just would stick with that. So, another, and then, in which case, then, all you can do past $1,000 is really just filter it, f flood it all into these other things, like really good uh, SSD and whatnot. Okay, anyway, let's just find a really good SSD. So, we'll start with this one here. So, either, we've got two options here. We can either, if we go to SSD, get like a, like a 2 terabyte one, or keep upgrading the HDD. I reckon we keep upgrading the HDD. So, we have $450. I reckon we can get the best possible. There we go. Uh, in fact, there we go. Four. I'm sure it will be less than that. HDD. There we go. There we go. The best possible. HDD, that one right there, boom, wow, and we still have, what did we go for last time, like, that's crazy, that's the absolute, and we still have $86 left, and 286 is not gonna cut, cut it, uh, if 86, 286 is 286, see, these are 400, these ones here, mm. so if we say that has to be, <coughs> Yeah, 200, so let's say it has to be under $300, there we go like that, it has to be under $300, boom, and it has to be, because this one here, we're comparing it against this one here, it has to be over 300 average benchmark, yeah, over 300 for the average benchmark, like that, boom, 
There we go. Uh, so then the only ones above this one are these three here. Oh, those are ones you're right anyway. So the only option is this one here. And I don't even know if I would upgrade to that, to be honest. Bam. There we go. Yeah, that one's... Yeah. No, I wouldn't upgrade. Okay, there we go. So... Or would we? Nah, I wouldn't. Okay, so there we go. So, yeah, that's like the same price as last time. It literally is. It literally is. It's the exact same design we created last time. Okay, so yeah. Uh, so then with the next one, we'll have an extra 200 US dollars and we'll be able to put, put that up to the 2 terabyte version and that. But, I mean, yeah. So yeah, anyway, the other two options, not much of an improvement on last time. Although the graphics card... Wait, no, we used that same graphics card. What did we even upgrade? Maybe the SSD. I don't know. I think the SSD. But yeah, the other two options. So, I mean, this is just... This is not even worth it, in my opinion. Although, that would have masses and masses of space. It'd still be really good quality. I mean, this here would still be a very good computer. But this one would be an absolutely, insanely good computer. So, yeah. If, if you had $1,251 US dollars, I would highly recommend you get this computer right here. Although, you could spend, like, an extra $40 for the NVIDIA GPU if you had reasons for getting that one. And you could spend, like, another $100 and get way more HDD space and that, but everything, SSD will be solid, RAM will be solid, CPU will be solid, absolutely wonderful option right there. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and remember, as always, take what I say with a grain of salt, that there is my two, uh, it's not really $300, is it? It's, it's like the same as, pardon me, as yesterday, although I did talk about a few other things along the way. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day. This has been your host, Super Sight. Wow, we are over 30 minutes today. Crazy. Anyway, see you next time. Goodbye for now. Ciao.